Okay. So, nice and clean. I'm afraid we're out of time. What do you mean? I just sit down. Well, the therapeutic hour is 50 minutes, and you just spent 48 of them disinfecting the chair. It's clear you have a, a fairly severe case of obsessive compulsive disorder. Really? Well, OCD is very treatable. A combination of medication and behavioral therapy will give you some relief from those feelings of, of panic that you might feel if, say, you think you forgot to unplug the curling iron. Oh, God, or... I think I forgot to unplug the curling iron. There's a stigma in this country about mental illness. I mean, depression, anxiety, OCD, bipolar, they're hard to diagnose, so people don't always appreciate that they're serious problems, but they are. Yeah, um, I don't know. You know, I'm not sure I want to lay on a couch and tell some stranger all of my secrets. And I don't want to start popping pills just so I can turn into someone that other people want me to be. This is how I am. This is who I'm supposed to be. Your illness is not who you're supposed to be. It's keeping you from who you're supposed to be. Look, you're a guidance counselor, right? So if a student came to you and said they had diabetes, would you give them insulin? Or would you say, hey, that's just who you're supposed to be? I... <laughs> I just feel, um... I feel so ashamed. <laughs> right. Well, you're not alone. After my daughter was born, I had a severe case of postpartum depression. I would look down at this beautiful baby girl like she wasn't even mine. Like all the color just came out of the world. But you know when the moment was that I started to feel just a little bit better? When I admitted that I needed some help? Well, that's what I'm here for. Can I tell you something, Emma? You're gonna feel better. I promise. I'm gonna give you an SSRI Start with a low dosage, and that'll help you hold on to the serotonin that your brain naturally makes anyway. And I'd like to see you in about a week. <laughs>